Culture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is. Today I want to get into that new Benny the Butcher burden of proof. Before I get into that, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit that notification bell. Thumbs up. If you don't like the video, hit the thumbs down. It is what it is. You know, as long as y'all interacting, make sure y'all talk in the comments too. Uh, say something good. I might say something back. You know what I mean? And uh, if you want to donate, the link to the Cash App is in the description. All right, man. So listen. Benny the Butcher. Griselda Zone. Drops a new project. Burden of proof. Listen, I've been very critical on Benny the Butcher, and it's not because me personally, my personal opinion on him, I go off what the consensus say as far as uh, material beats, uh, raps, and sound quality. I go off of that. So for me, Solo projects, Benny the Butcher has been putting his best foot forward, I should say. Hasn't came out with nothing that's a classic, but to me, something that I can say that's a strong nine, or that's a, 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 a I would say that's a strong, strong eight, you know. And him as being a street artist, he's kind of coming into his own now. Now he's becoming a, I would say, a household name and he's getting his recognition from what I see that's going on now so him coming up with this project I'll be honest with you there was a lot of uh, anticipation for this album for me I kind of went off his last three or four verses and to be fair that's probably not fair but at the same time that's just how I gauge things so I went off of his last three or four verses and I wasn't really too impressed with a lot of his verses that he had. I think over people was kind of overhyping them verses saying, oh, this is the verse of the year or this is the verse. And for me, there were other artists that were clearly rapping better than Benny that wasn't getting that recognition. And I just felt like he was being pushed to that level that he didn't deserve yet. So with that being said. I really didn't go into this project anticipating it as much as everybody else did. So when I went into the project, boy, was I wrong. This is a really good project. Man, listen, I tell you. Outside of, uh, well, we could just start with the lyrics. Benny the Butcher is a, is a very good lyricist. I wouldn't say he's elite yet, but he knows where to put things. At. He know how to say certain things that a get even a person that isn't from the streets riled up. He's he's one of those rappers that he has that slow monotone flow, but at the same time he hits you with punch after punch after punch after punch. So it's like he don't have to be a Nas or a Black Thought or a Royce because they're superior lyricists to me, but. They don't always hit you with a punch. Sometimes it's more their wordplay and, it, and how they how they can manipulate rhymes. Him is more like every other every other um, snare. When he hit that snare, he hits that punch. So it's like uh, turn it, bang, uh, uh, bang, uh, uh, bang. You know what I'm saying? Make you want to throw your hoodie on. Uh, uh, bang, uh, uh, bang. You know what I'm saying? So I felt like like with his raps. He placed everything in the right order. You know what I'm saying? I think that he knew he's moving into that zone where he knows where to place things. And before he was doing it, but I don't think that he was doing it on a grander scale. Now, you kind of got, and, and I can't fault him for this, and maybe that's my bias in a way, but you kind of got to dumb it down to push yourself up because a lot of times you're going to come across people who really don't know about uh, lyrics or don't know about the streets I should say and he has to play that line between the two so moving forward I think he's 
making the right decision by doing that. And a lot of, he's going to lose a lot of fans, but he's probably going to gain more fans because people are going to say, you know, oh man, this dude, he fell off or he's right. And then you're going to have some dudes that mean, nah, dog, he got better. So I think that with him pushing that envelope, dumbing it down a little bit to get, usually when you do that, you become better as a lyricist and you become better as an artist. So I think that him doing that is a good thing. So his lyrics was, was lyrics was, was good. Um, sound quality, sound quality was okay. I think the sound quality to me was uh, was something that uh, could have been a little bit better. You know, it wasn't it wasn't something that I would say it was magnificent. But the sound quality was was okay. It, it fit it fit that mold. I should say it wasn't something that that uh was that he overdid the samples or overdid the sound or underdid it so it was pretty decent um production to me is probably the low point of this album but not by much i really wasn't feeling a lot of these beats on here to be honest with y'all but the beats kind of fit with benny it fit with his style you know it fit with his style it seemed like he was a little more braggadocious on this album he was a little more swaggadocious i should say he was a little more he wasn't as street but he was a little more like okay i'm 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 out of the streets but i'm still connected but look i'm a boss now more like more of that on that line so the production to me was cool it wasn't nothing that was super crazy or groundbreaking and just to be clear, I'm not really a big Hit Boy fan. Um, I'm, and that's just to be honest with y'all, I'm really not. I don't think that he's, I don't think, I think he's good, but for me, I don't think he's that good as as everyone else sees him. I think that to me, some of his beats just don't hit for me and they're just generic. Being a producer, I can, I understand how beats are made. So I've been doing production for a long time, so I understand. But some of the beats that he do for me is just it's they just don't line up, I should say. So um him producing this project, now don't quote me on this. I don't know if he did the whole entire project, but I know he did a good percentage of it. If he did the whole entire project, please tell me about that in the comment. But he 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 even though I didn't like a lot of the beats, I can still recognize that they were placed and Benny being on them made them fire if that makes sense so like it's a lot of beats that I don't like the sound of but the way people rap to them I can't deny that the song is not a good song just because I don't like the beat you know what I'm saying so not to say that the beats were terrible it's just to say that they wasn't appealing to me but I can recognize that the song is actually good with that beat, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it could be any song, you know, that you would think that the beat is not that good. It could be a beat that's, I don't know, like, I'll give you an example. I know it's kind of off topic, but like, Andy, are you okay? I don't like that beat, but that song is legendary and the song is classic. So it's like, you know, I don't like that beat, but the song is legendary. Same thing with Nas' uh, uh, Ether. I hate Ether beat, but the song is legendary. And he made the song good. So, with that being said, this project to me, I'm probably going to listen to for the rest of the year. It's in rotation. Great project, man. Oh, man, great project. Um, I think that Benny the Butcher is on his way up from here. If he keep going the way he's going, he's on his way up. I think that uh, he's going to be one of those artists that is going to be around for a long time. And he's going to be respected, you know. So he can hold his own with everybody. He didn't, we done seen that. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I heard him with Drake, Kendrick, or Cole yet. You know, Crit and uh, maybe a couple of other people. But... If he's repping this way, he probably most likely is going to hold his own with them too. So I gave this album a strong 9. Pushing up to a 10. 
definitely one of my contenders of top 10 albums of this year. Um, I would say maybe top five. Uh, very good album, very good project. One of these, one of those projects that I think that people are going to run back to and relate to and say, okay, yeah, that album was an album that I think that he really shined on. And Tan and Talk, Tan and Talk 3 and uh, Plugs I Met, I thought were better projects until I listened to this project, maybe the second or third time. Plugs I Met is definitely one of those albums that I, I, I always go back to. Tan and Talk too but i mean tan to talk as well but the thing about those albums they feel like they're still underground this album feels like his mainstream debut album so being the butcher burden the proof you know what it is like share subscribe to the page torture talk